Hi, welcome to my channel. Up to this point I've used the Arduino to measure analog signals and with the analog to digital converter that's on the microcontroller here we convert that into digital format and then we're able to manipulate that digital information in our sketch to control whatever uh, we have hooked up to the Arduino. But the real world is analog in nature and you can then convert a digital signal into analog with a DAC or digital to analog converter. And Adafruit has this Anal uh, digital to analog converter on this breakout board. I just have to s solder these header pins on. And this is an MCP4725. It's, tr it's a 12 bit uh, digital to analog converter with EE PROM memory. And what you can do is write code and you can have uh, a waveform generator. You can produce your own. Uh, different waveforms, say a, a sine wave or a triangle wave, and there, there's already a library built for this chip. This has I2C serial communications capability, so you can just download this library into your Arduino uh, IDE and run some of the examples, and you have yourself a waveform generator. So I thought I'd. Uh, solder these pins onto this board and uh, download the software and take a look at some of the examples that they already have built for this. So it's a pretty small board here. The chip's even smaller. So you can see it there and there's the digital to analog converter chip right there. Look how small it is. It's almost about the size of one of the surface mount resistors there in capacitors. And here's your voltage and ground connections and your I2C connections and the output connection. So let me go solder the pins to this. So I'll solder these pins. I had too much coffee today. So here's the tutorial on the Adafruit website. Let's see, serial data is connected to A4 and the clock for the I2C is connected to A5. So let me wire this up. So I have it wired and now I have to go to this GitHub repository and download the software here. It's a zip file. Let's see, do I have WinZip um, on this PC? I might have to download it again. I think I have the free version on here. Let me hook up my Arduino. And this is my output. I'll hook up my scope probe to this. So I should be all set to go to install that sketch. Let's see, uh, I'll verify it first. So I downloaded the zip file and followed all the directions and installed the folders uh, into the Arduino IDE. And when I went to run the sine wave sketch, I got errors. And I'm, I always find it interesting when you follow directions uh, on a website and you end up with an error and you, th you think you've done something wrong. So I uninstalled those folders and then uh, downloaded the zip file again and reinstalled and I still got the same errors. The triangle sketch ran so I figured that the software was correct it was just something wrong with the sketch which you would think that 
they would make sure that th that was um, it would install and without errors so when somebody buys the product they're not scratching their head and get frustrated that they've done something wrong so when you look at the sine wave sketch it's a little intimidating but most of the sketch uh, is data that's in the table that simulates the sine wave and I went did a search and couldn't find anything and I'm thinking am I the only how could I be the only one with this problem it must it must be uh, more evidence that it's something that I did and uh, not necessarily something with the sketch so uh, I couldn't find anything on any forums and then started reading the error and uh, trying to figure out what it was saying and it was pretty straightforward it said a variable needed to be declared a constant uh, in the context that it was being used so I just did that and it worked and I still don't understand why um, that wouldn't be something that would be resolved before I discover it I can't be the only one that has bought this product to date and there wasn't like I said nothing on the forums but it was pretty straightforward so it just goes to show you, you don't need to be an expert programmer. Uh, sometimes it's just some common sense, and if you look at the evidence, you might be able to solve the problem. So let me show you what you get when you initially run this sketch without the corrections. So the sketch is, it's a, in my, in my libraries folder here, sine wave. So you can see all this data in these tables and that's the sine wave data, the digital representation. Uh, so when this code uh, represents the analog output from, from the DAC. So when you go to verify this, which was the first thing I went to do, you get all these errors and I'm like, oh great. What did I do wrong? And if you read here, it says error variable DAC lookup underscore full sign. There's a 7-bit and then uh, an 8-bit, a 5-bit. Uh, these variables, it says, must be constant in order to be put into read-only section of means of attribute so I'm not exactly certain what all that means, but it does give you a little bit of a hint. It says it needs to be declared as a constant. So I just went in. Uh, you can hear, here's the first variable right here. And I said, call that a constant, to find it as a constant to start. Constant. And did that, each of these variables represents one of these tables of data so you just go down to the next one and define that as a constant let me do the rest okay change them all and now if I re-verify this No more errors. So I've already uploaded this sketch to the Arduino. Let's take a look at the oscilloscope. And there's the nice sine wave coming out of the DAC. And it's almost intuitive that the sine wave is going to be a little bit more complicated to simulate. And the reason I say it's a simulation is that it's not a an analog sine wave in all respects it's individual data points that are making that's making up the sine wave so if I expand this you can see the individual steps there that you produce with a 12-bit DAC if you had a 14 or a 16 you would have better resolution and those steps would be smaller so your 
representation or simulation of a sine wave would be more accurate. So beforehand you have to calculate all those values and then put them in a table in digital form and then you call those values up at the right time to simulate the sine wave. Now let's upload the triangle sketch to the Arduino and look at the triangle wave and that's the sketch and when you think about it the reason it's so simple is all you do is step up the voltage incrementally until you reach maximum and then step down till you reach minimum and that's all you need to do to form a triangle so I'll upload that sketch and then I'll, I'll put the camera on the oscilloscope so you can see a transition from the sine wave to the triangle wave so the triangle wave just ramps up the voltage and ramps down the voltage. So there I'm uploading the sketch. Triangle wave's a lot slower, the sketch is a lot slower. And there it is. So you ramp up the voltage and then you ramp down the voltage and that's how you achieve the triangle wave. It's pretty similar to the last video where we fade, uh, we increase the intensity of an LED and then decrease the intensity by incrementing a variable up and down. So that's how you go about connecting a digital to analog converter or a DAC to the Arduino. And with a little programming, you can simulate uh, analog output signals, uh, sine waves, square waves, triangle waves. And in, in a way, it's uh, a function generator. So I hope you found this video interesting. Please subscribe, like, and or comment. And thanks for watching.